Hey guys, let's do a quick recap of what happened last week. I got sick! Yay! <laughs> no, no. I wasted one precious week because of that darn flu. In my previous vlog, I said, Flu, I'm gonna beat you. Unfortunately, it came back at me with a vengeance. This is how bad it was, right? I had the flu, I had sore throat, I had fever, I had cough, and diarrhea. All in one day. Seriously, not fun. The doc calls it bacterial thoracic infection, which is just a, a really, really bad case of the flu. And it got me so bad, I had to take MC from work. I suppose you could say it got worse after I did the Under Armour video and photo shoot for the Unlike Any campaign, but I'll talk about that later on. I was really, really sick. I was trying so hard, okay guys, I was trying so hard to fight it off naturally and not take any antibiotics, but in the end, my body just gave in. Went to the doctor, he took my blood test, he took my temperature, I was 39 degrees Celsius, and normal temperature by the way is 35 degrees Celsius, okay? I was sweating so much at night, I couldn't even sleep and rest properly. I had to change clothes four times in the middle of the night for two days straight. The doc was saying that I could have gotten this bacterial infection from anybody that's been in my vicinity who was coughing, sneezing, and it doesn't help. The, the, the people that I've been with of late have been sick. And I suppose it just finally hit me when my immune was down. It really attacked the entire system. Now here's the reason why I didn't want to take antibiotics. You must be thinking like, why? You're sick. Take it, right? Antibiotics will mess up with your gut health. And when your gut health is messed up, you can't absorb nutrients properly. And when you can't absorb nutrients properly, it's going to affect your weight loss, your fat loss, is not going to help you with your muscle growth. So yeah, antibiotics is not going to help you at all, especially if you're getting ready for a comp. Plus, I don't want to look like Flubber when I'm on stage. There I was in the hospital like this. I look like death and I just wanted to roll up and curl up and die in a hole. That's how bad and miserable I felt when I was sick. I finally gave in and I said, okay doc, just jab me the antibiotics. Just do it, just do it. There is a way to kind of combat the antibiotics and that is by taking prebiotics and probiotics. You just want to help your gut as much as you can um, with good bacteria. Was I able to train at all? Of course not. Are you crazy? My weight dropped, obviously, because I really didn't have much of an appetite when I was sick. Which brings me to the thing I really want to talk about today, and that is what should you eat when you're sick? I was asked an interesting question while I was sick, and that is, uh, Lenara, why are you still calculating your macros? Because you're sick. Yeah, I assume she's trying to say, she's trying to imply that I can just eat whatever I want. On one hand, while you're sick, you will feel like crap and you're gonna try and reach out for anything that's gonna make you happy again and that includes crappy food like breads on the table, cookies, sometimes for me I would crave cheesy nachos, those are not good. And then there's another also a bunch of people who would just not eat when they're sick. Both sides are not great. It should be nutritious food that you put into your body. Now coming to that question, why should I still track my macros? First of all, I'm getting ready for a comp. And second of all, it's a good thing I did because that way I found out I was eating too little calories on the first two days when I was sick. I was eating as low as 954 calories compared to my normal, which is 1,550, 1,106. With that knowledge in hand, I knew I had to put in more food into my system and eat something which is nutritious. Because when you're sick, all the more that you gotta be stuffing your body with more nutrients. And here, I'm gonna show you, when we go down to my kitchen, what are the things that I ate when I was sick and hopefully you get an idea too when you're sick. Actually, another reason why I want to bring you down to the kitchen is because I would like to cook my food for tomorrow. Here's what I got cooking in the oven. This is my minced chicken breast together with ginger, sea salt, pepper, lemon juice, and 
Flavor Gods Taco Tuesday. I got a few variations, which I absolutely love. While I was sick, I did not eat whatever the hell I wanted. I did change my macros though. Instead of 100 grams of carbs, I went up to 130 grams of carbs. So my breakdown for my macronutrients was 50% protein, 15% fat, and 35% of carbs. I had to get a good amount of carbs in me because it was an easy source of energy and um, my protein was mostly chicken. These were mostly my carbs. I had rye crackers together with rice cakes and then I had this buckwheat crisp bread and bananas. Bananas are gonna be your friend because they're easy to digest, they're soft, they're sweet. It may taste bland for some of you but I was enjoying my bananas. I had peaches, strawberries, and something which I think is a necessity, coconut water. I'm gonna be very honest and say that this brand that I bought, Nudie, it's quite expensive for one, literally like this is 24 ringgit, that's really expensive. The only reason I bought this one is because there is minimal sugar in it. Coconut water is great because it then at least gives you the electrolytes that you need and it's really cooling for your body. Oh, and I must share something with you which was like my savior. If you notice on the counter, there are tons of cookies and sweets, gummy bears. Those are things I did not want to touch. So thankful that me and my sister have been making energy balls. These were so yummy and the reason why I was so happy with these I knew exactly what were in them. So they are healthy macros. I've got my avocados in there. I've got some cocoa powder, but I didn't eat so much of that while I was coughing. I was eating more of the coconut with apricot. Now, if you wanna get this, you just need to beat my sister, direct message her on Nessa's Delights on Instagram, and you can order these freshly made. In fact, I might have one again later. All right, recap of the foods I suggest you should eat when you're sick. Number one, chicken soup. Chicken soup is your best friend. Chicken soup is a great source of fluids. It's got your vitamins, your minerals, even protein. Like I threw my chicken inside. I just minced it up first so it's easier to, um, to eat is rather than just chewing a whole chunk of it. And the bone broth gives such fantastic flavor for your soup. Throw in all kinds of vegetables that are your favorites. My mom threw in kale, cauliflower, carrots, onions for me, and it became a very nutritious blend. It's also a natural decongestant, so it would help in reducing the phlegm and also that stuffy nose when you're having a flu. Coconut water is another thing because it's filled with electrolytes and you should be going to again getting more fluids into your system. Bananas, another great source for calories and nutrients. It's dense and it's not hard to chew, plus it's sweet and it makes me very happy. Fruits, another good thing to eat when you're sick because it's flavonoids. It can help in fighting the bacteria and the viruses that are attacking your body. Make sure when you're sick, you eat your vegetables. Like for me, it, I was very blessed that my dad made our green drink. It's now his ritual, which is to um, blend ginger, lemon, cilantro, and cucumber into this green concoction and for me what I did was I just added a bit more water and I added some magnesium powder in it and it became a real power drink and that drink was filled with my fiber and the nutrients I needed while I was sick and I'm just going to continue taking that and the other things and finally for supplements I made sure I kept on taking my multivites, my B50s, my vitamin C's and I also took lysine. All that I mixed together and I took that throughout the whole time that I was sick. Food is one thing, but rest is another thing. When you're sick, make sure you get ample loads of rest. I got the rest I needed and my face looks so much better. In fact, my skin looks so much better after taking the multivitamin drip. In fact, I will do it again because I think it's just good to boost up the immune system, especially for the next four weeks. 
yet because I only have four weeks left to my comp date. I didn't get to train today because this happened. I don't know if this is considered rotten luck or what, but I came all the way hoping that I could get a workout in, except the gym is closed for good reasons. They are upgrading. They, they brought in a new squat rack. Yay! They brought in a T-bar row. Yes! Now I don't have to stop the bar at the corner anymore. And they are bringing in a new dumbbell rack. So that's great, but I feel very sad because that means I don't get the train here today. Alright. I gotta say, the only thing that was good from it, I got really incredibly lean. And the reason I got so much smaller and I lost the weight is because even though I was eating more carbs, it was because I was on a caloric deficit. Remember I was telling you that? My normal amount is 1,550 calories to 1,600 calories. Instead, here I was bringing it down to about 1,400. I was trying to hit 1,005, but it just didn't help. Being sick is not fun. After doing just a couple of turns and just posing a little bit, I feel extremely tired and that's all I did. I did not even work out that. It was technically my workout. <sighs> Contracting the muscles and just doing a little bit of movement was really tiring. And even though I do like what my physique looks like at the moment, but that is not how I want to get there. The only reason I, I look so much more leaner is because I'm on a major caloric deficit. For anyone thinking that being sick is a great way to lose weight, it's not. It's only temporary, my dear girls and gents. Do not think for a moment that, especially actually for girls, if you think this is a great way to lose weight, it's not. Because you're just going to put it all back on the minute your appetite comes back, you're gonna start binging, you're gonna start eating all sorts of nonsense. So once again, being sick does not mean that you are going to lose weight and look fantastic all the time. Two, being sick is not a great way to lose weight. And three, being sick does not give you an all excess pass to eat whatever kind of junk you want. Your body's not gonna like you for it. <laughs> but I will enjoy this look for a time being until comp hits. Hey. And here I'm gonna say, wow, it looked kinda nice that I was that lean, but that was not how I intend to lose weight. In fact, I slashed down my calories way too early. It should be much later on when I'm closer to comp. So I'm really hoping that I didn't screw too much from my gut health and my nutrition plan. From here onwards, it's got to be really on point as much as possible. My macros are back to 60% protein, 25% carbs, and 15% of fat until I hear otherwise from my coach. Right, now that part is out of the way, let me talk about the interesting part that happened in my week before I turned sick and that was doing the video slash photo shoot for the Unlike Any Under Armour campaign, which I'm so excited for. Here at Shoot for Under Armour with my girls, I've been reunited. She's eating my favorite biscuit. This is called Absolute Hustle. Even when you're down with flu, cough, I thank God the fever is gone and I was purging yesterday. Not fun, but you hustle on because you got to get stuff done. Here's one portion of the crew. That's Adrian, who I've not seen for 10 years. 10 years! He did the directing course while well, I did the acting course. This is Jenna, that's Javen, and on the floor is Drake. No, it's actually Cedric. Cedric. <laughs> done with the first exercise. Moving on to the second one. They just love to torture me. Look at what they want me to do. They want me to sprint up and down.
you I did a cover shoot for my very first magazine cover get ready get ready get ready here it is I finally got my hands on my cover for women's health and I'm very honored to be on it let's take a look inside okay this was the most heartfelt interview I've ever done and the article written by June and the rest of the women's health crew there we go first and second page and fourth page and the final page where you can see on some tips on how to get the booty my tips now the reason why I'm very honored is because um, I'm very sad to say that Women's Health Malaysia is no longer available in Malaysia and I'm honored to be the final cover it's just sad that it happened because it's one of my favorite fitness magazines to the entire crew for Women's Health you've all been doing an amazing job and I love you guys so if you can get your hands on the final issue of Women's Health Malaysia because you can say now I'm a collector's item Ooh. <laughs> I'll put it up so that you guys can also have a read of it online in other news last week I did not get to do my fit and fab 101 which is like a nutrition and fitness talk for females specifically so it's gonna happen this weekend and I really hope to see you there because I want to share my experience with you on how I fix nutrition for myself how I've been calculating my macros even though I talk about it in my vlog I'm also gonna be touching on why I feel there's certain mistakes that females are making that and that they end up looking bulky and they're not putting on the right mass so yeah, I really hope to see you there at Fit and Fab 101 at Qua Fitness. Do click on the link below. That's how you can register and all the details are there. I will see you on Saturday. That's it for the vlog. Do help a girl out. Subscribe to my channel, please. And give this video a thumbs up. Uh, it always motivates me whenever I know that I'm doing something that is helpful or that I am benefiting some somebody else. So I'll speak to you next week on the vlog with more updates and I'm going to be doing my very first posing session in heels and in my bikini. You have an awesome week and I hope the tips I gave you would help you out. Touch wood that you do not get sick, alright? Make sure you take loads of vitamin C. Till then, stay healthy, stay sexy, and I'll speak to you next week on the vlog with more updates. And as always, may the gains be forever in your favor.